It's raining in a few spots, but here in Pittsburgh, it is not. And we're expecting this rain to just be isolated as we continue through the rest of the evening, and it's going to shrink down in size. But there's some spots where it's raining and coming down pretty good. We'll start at the top of the map up towards Oil City, and you can see outside of French Creek, right through Oil City, up into Tyanesta in Forest County there. That is where we see some of the heavier rain that's developed and sort of been sticking around up this way. We also have some broken up showers as you get into Mercer County up towards Greenville. You're going to see this one drifting in. Most of this has been just north of Mercer, and you can see out towards Sandy Lake, Shakeleyville, um, Sandy Creek. This is where we see some areas of rain, most of it light, but a couple tiny spots get a little more intense. Now, green, this is just outside of Indiana. Uh, northeast of Indiana is where we see an isolated shower in Indiana County, just that little speckle up there, and then a couple splotchy showers, as Stacy mentioned, as you get into Monongalia County, right over Morgantown right now. So in Morgantown, it's raining, but outside the city, it tapers off very quickly. Kingwood seeing some of those steadier showers as well, actually outside of Kingwood now, down to the south in Preston County there. The humidity, that's been the big thing impacting everybody. It's been elevated and it's expected to stay this way tonight and through much of the day tomorrow. We have a cold front that needs to come through to sweep this moisture aside. And when that cold front gets here tomorrow, it's going to bring additional showers and thunderstorms. But that cold front is also going to bring some big time relief. Now, temperatures around are right at about 80 degrees. This is where they should be for this time of year. And in Pittsburgh, we get partly cloudy skies. Beautiful look up the top of Gateway Center across the river. Yeah, things looking good too. 81 degrees in Pittsburgh. Dew point at 65, so there's that elevated humidity, and we get that nice breeze, 10 to 15 miles per hour coming out of the west. Now today we got up to 81 degrees. Our average temperature, 81. We did start off a little warmer than average, though, in the upper 60s, and we're going to stay in the upper 60s again tonight. Now we have these uh, showers around again. A uh, uh, Batch of showers to the north, some to the south, but overall everything we see nearby is isolated and expected to stay that way. Through the course of the evening, they're going to shrink down in size even more, and then partly cloudy skies overnight. Now tomorrow, we do see that cold front actually starting to finally push in here, and that's going to trigger these showers. So once we get into the afternoon, more showers and thunderstorms. A couple of these could get gusty. That shifts down to the south, even 5 p.m., I think it'll start clearing Pittsburgh, but the South Hill still with the rain showers and thunderstorms still trying to cut through and that'll be all out of here by the time we get into Friday. And I think Friday is looking fantastic. Clearing skies there, bright sunshine Saturday, beautiful day Sunday. So the weekend is shaping up perfectly and we're just getting the rain out of the picture during the work week. Now 67 tonight, scattered showers, some thunderstorms around winds of the west southwest 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then tomorrow we get our high into the upper 70s, not quite 80 degrees with that cold front coming in. It is going to stir up those showers and thunderstorms, and you can see that the better potential for rain comes into play for the afternoon and evening as that front is passing through and that front after it's gone. Brings in some beautiful weather as high pressure builds in Friday, clearing skies 74, 75 on Saturday with abundant sunshine, even 80 degrees on Sunday with partly cloudy conditions. The chance for rain returns Monday afternoon.